the thumb goes on F E F E D E F E D And may you may practice which part of your thumb you can press on the keys. I think I'm somewhere here where the finger is pretty hard. So it pushes the key firmly. And maybe you notice that I start with the and then I put on the thumb. If you're good, put on the thumb from the very first note. The thumb goes up, half note. the way the old silver bass nickel harper players always did in the C major with the C E with these two fingers or these two depending on what comes after which finger you will need next and I prefer here these two because then I'm a bit higher up part I should have ended this way and when you're up here you must move the bow closer to the bridge because playing this note, then the string is only this long, and you must play at the end of the string. Here you can play in between. But the higher up you come, the more the bow goes this way. Here the string is only this long. You might press rather hard on the hairs. Try different pressure, try different speed of this bow.
The name of this waltz is Farfars Walsen, Grandpa's Waltz, the Father's Father's Waltz, or the Waltz of the Death, by Kalebudin in Esarby, 55 kilometers north of Uppsala. Kalebudin belonged to a very musical family, and he played the silver bass nickel harpa. He was also a neighbor of Erik Sarström. But they didn't play together because they played such different styles. Kalle Boudin was known for his skills adjusting stationary engines, locomobiles, run on kerosene at the farms. <clears throat> they were used for threshing. When he came to such an engine, he set the screws and when he went, he said to the farmer, don't change the setting of the screws. But of course, the farmer meant to make it a little better. And he was there and screwed a little and the engine stopped. They had to call for Kalabudin again. For a bowing pattern, you can play more edgy. Or just slur. I prefer to make variations. The first time I play the B part, I play it. Second time I play it, I play it with slurrings. And when you finger up again, Make sure to play at the end of the string, but no closer than 15 millimeters. But for the A string, you can be 10 millimeters away from the bridge. Try this in, in many tunes. Pressure, speed, and stroking point. It's very interesting to experiment with. And my opinion is that you can usually use shorter strokes and more pressure. Have fun with it.